So an interesting problem here is that we have, let's say, stores that we're selling pallets of paper to, and we have sales reps that we want to align with each of these stores, but we have multiple sales reps. What we can use is the new function of allow multiple selections in our drop down. So we can create a drop down here and we can put in Andy as a sales rep. We can put Dwight and we can add Jim. We can color code these as well, Andy, Dwight and Jim, and we can select that to be the entire column B. We will need to select allow multiple selections over here on the right bottom side. Click done, close that for now. And we can select say Andy, 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 and Dwight. And then we can select something like Jim and Dwight and then Jim. Now maybe during our analysis of this, we wanna know, you know, which stores is Andy assigned to? We could have created like Andy. We can go equals filter. We'll filter the range and usually what we used to do is just say the B column is equal to Andy. And you'll see here that this result is paper pillows and the right stuff, but it doesn't include parchment pros because there's Andy and Dwight here. Now this never used to be a problem because we did not have this allow multiple selections. But now that we do, it offers an interesting, there is an interesting solution to this. What we can do is instead of having this condition be, we use search formula and we're gonna search for Andy where where we're gonna search for, it's going to be in the B column. And now we include everything that includes Andy here. Let's see if we can create Andy's total sales as well, like the total pallet sold. Instead of filtering the A column, we're going to filter the C column and we will get numbers, but we're gonna sum them up. Just wrap that with sum and we get the total sales. And with these new formulas, with this search and this filter, we can use this allow multiple selections very easily, very well. And we can create dashboards or summaries of this information or analyze it for our purposes as we go. We can see these will change if we add Andy here. We can actually flip these around a little bit there and we can keep adding Dwight and Andy and it'll show up in Andy's. So I thought that was really cool. Again, it's just this adding this search into the filter instead of using that equals condition.